And this is my favorite part of the 4B movement. They're not even, they don't give a goddamn about what the men's is doing. They don't care. They are checking out completely. And I love that for them. They're not sitting here trying to change men. They're not sitting here trying to explain to men why they're so bad and how weaponizing competence and you guys need to do better and be partners to your, they're not doing all that. They're not pleading with men to act right. They say, y'all wanna act like fools, do it by yourself. And I respect them for that. And I too adhere to 4B. I don't know what the 4B <laughs> hand sign is. I don't know which one it is. <laughs> Someone give me a 4B hand sign, okay? I too adhere to 4B. I stand with them and I stand in solidarity with these women. And I understand because I feel the same exact way. You gotta be a real special mother sucker to, to uh, spend any time with me, okay? To get any attention from me. Because like I've said before, once you remove the patriarchy beer goggles, you see these males for what they are and you realize that there's no reason for you to be going crazy over these, these fools, honestly. And the reality is that this is a worldwide team. A worldwide team. This is a global movement. Women everywhere is tad. We just tired. And, and, and we're not just tired of, you know, our, as one of my favorite TikTokers, Mel Hamlet says, king baby. We're not just tired of our king baby husbands and our king baby partners and our king baby boyfriends and baby daddies. You know, we're not, we're not, we're, we're also tired of, of our, our male work, coworkers. Okay, we're tired of our male bosses. We've been tired of our male bosses. We're tired of our male employees. We're tired of our fathers. We're tired of our brothers. We're tired of our grandfathers, especially our grandfathers. Okay, a lot of us have started doing the math on our grandparents' relationships. Wait, you said grandpa, you said big, big daddy was, was 36 when he met grandma and she was 19? And then they, they were together for another 56 years and y'all want to tell me that was a happy relationship? Or was it Stockholm Syndrome? Or, or was a bitch just trapped? Okay? We're tired of our male friends. We're tired of, we are tired of male Instacart shoppers. Okay? <laughs> there is a whole trend on TikTok. Look it up of women coming to TikTok to literally talk about how their whole entire mood dropped the moment that they saw a male name come up when they ordered from Instacart. And you go and you read the comments and it's all these women talking about how these male Instacart shoppers come in with the same weaponized incompetence that they'd probably be doing at home. They will send these women pictures of the shelf talking about, I don't know what you're looking for, and what they're looking for is right there in the picture. Someone said that she asked for lemons and got lemon dishwasher soap. <laughs> We're tired of all of the men, okay? Not just some, all of them. And it's not by accident. You know, there's a lot of things happening right now. And y'all know, I told y'all before, I'm a spiritual girly, okay? I, I, be, I be doing the crystals and I love me some astrology. And there's an astrologer who came on TikTok to talk about what she calls the shift that we're experiencing right now. Her name is Learn Astro HD, Learn Astro HD. Men are reporting a higher rate of loneliness and dissatisfaction. Yes, we're here for it. Because just as this original creator says, women have been putting up with mediocre men for far too long. The standards have been too low and these men have not had to do shit. And the fact that they're spending a lot of their time complaining here on TikTok when they're not playing video games is just appalling. That's why they're lonely and dissatisfied. <laughs> 
But the men that are here for this change, for this raise in standards, are going to be very satisfied. And the astrology backs this up. Because we are currently in a once in an 18 year cycle where the North Node is in Aries and the South Node is in Libra. But not only that, we are in a once in a 50 year transit of Chiron also being in Aries with the North Node. And in 2024, they're going to be together in the sky for a little bit, amplifying the lessons of both. Aries represents masculine energy. And the masculine is in a huge, masculine energy in general is in a huge phase of healing right now because of where Chiron is and because the North Node is there, it's what we're focused on as a collective. The South Node, meaning release, what we're moving away from is in the sign of relationships, of our values in relationships, of our standards in dating. And we could also say that Libra represents feminine energy. So the feminine energies are releasing the standards that we have had from the past when it comes to relationships and dating. We're also embracing our- Did you hear that? The feminine is saying, we done. We're changing things. And the masculine is going through a major healing. Embracing our independence because of this and realizing, oh, if I don't need a man, then I can wait for a high quality man who's going to match my energy. Because women used to need men for the bare necessities, the basic necessities to live and be supported in this earthly physical realm that we live in. But we don't need that anymore because we have our own careers now, because we have jobs. We're realizing, oh, I'm not going to put my energy into a man until he can match mine. And it's an equal exchange and he meets the standards that I have for myself. <laughs> Because the feminine has done the work. The feminine has leveled up over the past few years. We've really evolved and changed and grown. And the masculine is still kind of catching up. This is something we all deeply learned in July and August of 2023. So July and August of 2023 really had us reevaluating all of that, releasing the old and stepping into the new. And 2024 is just about sticking with it and attracting those partnerships that are really like equal equality we're moving into pluto and aquarius the aquarian age everything is going to be about equality being equal attracting people who are your tribe on the same level as you have the same standards as you have the same beliefs values as you alignment in the highest form thank you uh i forgot your name learn astro hd thank you for that Okay, it's interesting that she said we, we got a little preview of this in July and August because on TikTok, um, that is when I started posting feminist content. And when I tell you my feminist content blew up, that's how I got most of my followers in July and August. So yeah, I, I saw that in my own personal life.